Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another room build and today I'm doing a bedroom build. Now today I'm going to be using the majority of vintage glamour stuff pack items and vampire game pack items because um, I thought that since vintage glamour and vampires kind of have that older type of theme, I thought it would be a good idea to put these two packs together into a build and what I decided to use them to in is this bedroom that I'm going to show you today. So this is on the gallery, you can head over to my origin ID which is real Thomas TV one and you can go ahead and download this for yourself and um, sometimes I get the CC glitch and I don't think I got it for this but if you can't find it then just make sure you click the advanced tab and click show custom content and that will um, be able to help you find it but I'm pretty sure that it, I didn't get the glitch the, oh my god I can't speak again the glitch this time <laughs> anyway so I've kind of split this room off into different sections so one room is well not room one section is um, where this well what well, you can see on screen now is where the bed's going to be. There's another little section where the uh, vanity table is. And there's also another section where it's kind of like a TV area. I wasn't really too sure if I should have put a TV in here. Because I don't really think it fits the older type of feel of the room, if you know what I mean. So you could take that out if you get this room for yourself. And then we've also kind of just got the rest of the space is just filled up with just random stuff really um so what else was i gonna say this is about twenty-seven thousand simoleons which is quite a lot but i suppose it is for the more of the richer sims um so as you can see there is the uh, tv area that i was talking about and like i said it kind of doesn't really go hand in hand with the rest of the room if you know what i mean but it is easy just to take it out if you download this um and i do have two like uh, columns separating the bedroom area and i did well i do put um those curtains in from Vintage Glamour as you'll just see there but they don't really go too well I don't think I had there's like a trick you can do to like get the curtains out without a wall and I did cut it out but I was having a bit of trouble with it but I did manage to get it in the end but I'm not too sure what I think of it so let me know down below and also like in general for all my builds and things if you have any other like really like constructive criticism then just leave those down in the comment section because that'd be really useful to improve myself for my next builds and um, so feel free to do that so um, I did put a bed in here, not a, um, a what's it called again, a coffin, <laughs> um, but I mean that is something you could easily change. I just thought this could either be used for normal sims as well, because uh, they just have kind of like a gothic look to it as well I suppose, so you know it could just be used for regular sims. So I didn't want, uh, but can sims, like just regular sims sleep in the coffin? I don't know, let me know if you know that because I haven't tried that out yet. Um, so for the coffee table there, we've got that marble one from Vintage Glamour, which I really, really like. The one thing I don't really like with Vintage Glamour is that the, the swatches for all the different colours like of items aren't, there isn't a big array of them. I just think that Vintage Glamour doesn't have a lot of red colours in their colour swatches, so that's something that they could have maybe done. Um, but I suppose all of them have a specific theme and red mustn't have fit with those. Uh, but I did find a way in the end, I think a lot of the Vintage Glamour items I used were darker colours as you can see. Um, and that's how I made it all work. So um, the other problem I had was with the windows and I just feel like there isn't a whole lot of curtains you can use for the smaller size windows. So it did take me a while to find something to use, but I did manage to get something in the end. Maybe it wasn't what I had in mind completely but it did work in the end um, and now I'm just going around with some random things just trying to fill in the space a little bit um in the middle, I don't know if I just mentioned this or not, um, because I did have to cut the voiceover, I don't know if you noticed just a minute ago, um, but in that middle bit there, um, I had like a table, I just didn't really know what to put there, and um, I ended up going with a flower pot, but I, I cut out so much of the video because it took me so, so long to find some flowers that would fit on that table, that kind of fit with the theme of the rest of the room, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that did take a while, but I did find something in the end. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed. We're going to yeah, be coming up to the screenshot in a minute or two um, now I'm just going around with little bits and at the end I kind of just went around the room a couple of times and I was just really trying to take it in and think is there anything I can do to make this room as best as I can I try to do that a lot um, but you know I did. I think I did a good job <laughs> let me know what you thought I feel like maybe it was kind of a little bit some of the colours didn't always flow and um, I feel like they were all like kind of separate sections which wasn't really what I was wanting as much kind of wanted everything to flow which it does in some areas but not as much in others um, but yeah so we are like at the end now I don't know how many times I have to say that I kind of feel like I'm just repeating myself now because I don't really have a lot left to say but sometimes I don't want to cut the voice over early I don't know why it just doesn't really feel like the voice 
I mean the voice really. The video is complete. I don't know why, but I always feel like I need to do a voiceover for my videos. I know a lot of people don't do that, and that's fine. It's up to them really. But for me, I don't know why, but a, a video doesn't feel complete without a voiceover. But um, we are at the screenshots now, finally. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go and download it from my origin ID, which is real Thomas Davy One. Leave some comments down below about what you thought of this, and if there's any other vampire-themed videos or videos in general you want me to do. Make sure you leave a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh,